Hi Stampers, it's Christy with Stampin' Texas. This card I wanted to share with you today has several fun little uh, techniques on it. I wanted to show you how I inked up the Swallowtail Butterfly and stamped that. And then I also wanted to show you how I was kind of playing with just some borders um, and how you can easily create your own little borders and in different sizes too. So let me show you what you're going to need to get started. Really, I just did a half sheet of Whisper White paper. It's measured 11 to 4 and 1 fourth. I scored it in the middle and folded in half. For I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And we're going to be using the large swallowtail butterfly. And we're going to first ink the entire thing up with crumb cake. And I go ahead and ink up. I know only half of it will really be on the card, but I go ahead and ink it up anyway because in that way I'll know it's completely covered and I can use any part of it. Now to get this uh, different kind of blue around the edges I used Bermuda Bay ink that's one of the new in colors and a sponge and I basically just go all around the edges and again go ahead and do the whole thing it's not going to hurt anything. And put on there as much or as little as you want. There we go. And you can always do this when the first color you put on the stamp is lighter and then you sponge around with a darker color. That's You can do it that way so your colors won't get infected. Alright, and then I'm just going to kind of position that where I want it. And just go for it. There we go. Isn't that neat? What a fun effect to the card. Really simple. All right, now let's let me show you the little border part that we're going to do. I'm going to be using a crumb cake marker and we're going to use the fine tip. Now, just in case you don't know, the thin line on this side is for the fine tip, the journaling. The thicker line on this side is for the brush tip. And then what I did is I took just a scratch piece of cardstock and you can cut these to any size rectangle you want. The idea is to lay it on top and using your marker we're going to just trace around the edge. This one is cut to four and three-fourths by three and a half. So in another little tip if you wanted to take some snail adhesive and kind of put some on there you could do that to lightly stick into place but I really haven't had much trouble with it moving on me. So what I'm going to do is line this up where I want it. And then anywhere where I see the butterfly, I'm going to skip over it. Now this is kind of interesting to do this because I have the camera right in front of me. So we'll see how well I do. It's always better to go extra on your little piece rather than your card. And it does take a little bit of practice. The other trick is using a lighter color. You can always go back over it with a darker and kind of get rid of some of those little bumpies along the way. And then we'll come down here. Yeah, you try to not stop. Hey, that's pretty good. Not bad. And again, you can do this in any size rectangle you want. So if you wanted it to come in smaller, just make that smaller. So much easier than trying to make a frame, a picture frame, and then trace inside. So there's that. Now I needed some thank you cards, but I wanted to show you that I got that word dream from the Loving Thoughts stamp set. So that's a great one with different sentiments. But the one I am using for today was from Fabulous Phrases. This is a great set because you can kind of mix and match what you want it to say. And this particular one I used heartfelt and thanks and all I did is stamp that on scratch paper, punch it out with that modern label punch. I'm gonna put this on about right there. Cute. And then, I love these little candy dots. Those have become my favorite. And so what I did is I just took some of these 
This is the Neutrals collection of candy dots, but they come in bright, subtle regals as well. And you get a hundred dots, ten of each color. Oops. I always like to use my paper snips, kind of help me pick little sticky things up like this. There you go. Isn't that fun? Such a cute card. It's simple.